this morning Football for Future did a climate action workshop with Spirit of Football. Uh, we had a 15 minute section as part of it and we talked about the relationship between football and climate change, how climate change affects football and how football affects climate change as well. It's a great workshop. Uh, the young leaders were so well engaged, all from around the world, the different understandings of climate change and how it impacts their own communities too. It was, it was so varied and so rich. The workshop went towards encouraging people to discuss what Football for Good organisations around the world are doing to combat climate change and also to develop some ideas that they can start to put into place in their communities. We've learned what other countries go through in terms of the impacts of climate change, the different contexts and how it's kind of similar to our island nations. In my country, Kiribati is currently experiencing sea level rise and that is the, the main issue. When people live nearby the, the sea, they move to another place to find the food and the water to drink. We did a clean up, we picked up plastic rubbish, we dumped it onto the field and we played with that rubbish on the field and we reflected upon, hey, we live in a world where we're clearly not taking care of the resources in our planet and we need to do something and we're moving and we're thinking and we're coming up with ideas and sport can just do so much that nothing else can do. I think we've learned that we can create more awareness because most of our, we work for our MAs, our member associations, our football associations and there's not much strategies in, in place for um, sustainability. I feel so confident about the impact that they're going to have going back to their continents, going back to their organisations. I said to them, if there's one thing you're going to do to tackle climate, just get a group of people around you who are really interested in this topic, sit them down and, and have a think about what is your environmental impact as an organisation. And From there you can start to plan initiatives but crucially understand what is the broad impact that you're having on the environment.